Greetings, minions. Pibbling Z here. And if you have seen the last video, then I'm not wearing the same outfit and have my hair exactly the same way. Uh, I'm actually recording this from then, which is now, which is the past, but now the future. So I'm like a time lord. I'm like a time lord. Anyway, I'm here today to discuss with you character development, which is one of my favorite subjects. I love characters. I feel like, for me personally, all story stems in my characters. It all springs from a character. Uh, I often say that a character will whisper in the back of my mind and then that's how I know that they're a thing. But I mean, we all know that, that uh, those voices are not the character. Those voices are something else. <laughs> but I do love discussing character development. So today we're going to talk a little bit about it and how I come up with characters and the really important things that I've learned when it comes to it. Of course, if you guys have any further questions about writing or publishing or character development or whatever, just drop them in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that bell because you don't want to miss any of the fun. And I'm so glad you're part of the Minion Horde. So on to character development. One of my most popular characters, of course, is Vladimir Todd. And that's one of the reasons I talk a lot with you guys on these videos about Vlad, because I realize that that is the most relatable of all of my books. And as of fall 2020, I will have 13 published books. So there are a lot of different books and a lot of different characters, but I realized my most successful series was The Chronicles of Vladimir Todd. So that's why I kind of default to that. So don't think that like that's the only character I care about or the only one I really know anything about. It's just I want to make sure that you guys can relate and go, oh yeah, Vlad, this is how you did it. So when it came to Vlad, I really, I did picture this boy, this boy inside my head. And he had black hair that hung in his eyes and he had fangs. And the moment I pictured him, I knew his name. And when I knew his name, I knew his entire story. And that's because he really felt very much like myself. You know, he was a, a kid on the fringe. He was a loner, he was somebody that was bullied, and he didn't really quite fit in anywhere. And he didn't know exactly where he was supposed to fit in or if he was supposed to fit in at all. And so I greatly related to Vlad because Vlad, of course, is an extension of myself. Vlad is an extension of a lot of you. And so for me, character has to be very, has to be very personal. I am every single one of my characters. And I'm talking not just the main character, not just like the heroes and the good guys, but the bad guys too, and the guys in between. You have to have a piece of yourself in each character or they won't be real people. And I always tell people that like Nellie is the mother in me, Otis is the teacher in me, and Diablo is the evil in me, and Dorian is everything I ever wanted to be. But they are, they're, they're a piece of me. And I think it's really important to know yourself. So before you start developing your character, really reach inside yourself and think about the things that you're the most passionate about, you're the most pained about, that you're the most outspoken about. Think about those things that are big, that really drive you, even if you've not been loud about them. If they're loud inside of you, that's the thing you need to grab onto. If you grab that, you can develop the most wonderful, relatable character. But it has to be something that truly, truly means a lot to you and has something big here. I know that doesn't make much sense, but for me it does. So something big that grabs you. With, with Vlad, it was uh, an effort to write out my feelings about having been bullied all the way through school. And it helped. It really did. I think that writing is very therapeutic. And so to write about a character that was dealing with all of these things uh, when I still hadn't quite processed those things, it was helpful and it helped me also to, to get those feelings up on a page and to say, this is how I felt. This is what I was going through. And then really to pour them on the page like that, you know, it, it helped me. It helped heal me. And so I think one of the reasons that Vlad is so relatable is that there are so many people out there that are experiencing those things. I mean, you know, maybe not having fangs or anything, maybe. <laughs> but I'm, I know that there are a lot of people experiencing those things and feeling all alone. So I know that that's why that character gets really a lot of attention when it comes to, you know, people on the fringe, because he's relatable in that way. So how are you relatable? 
really ask yourself this question. Know thyself. It's really important that you do. That you're like, okay, here's the thing. This big thing is what's happened to me, who I am. I am passionate about it. I am outspoken about it. This is the thing that I am about. I'm about anti-bullying. What are you about? Pull that out and give it to a character and see what happens. Now, something important when it comes to character development is you have to know the little details. And I'm not just talking about physical details. That's where everybody tends to go. They tend to go to, okay, details of my character. Their eyes look like this, their hair looks like this, they dress like this, and that's fine. You do need to know those things, but that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is you have to know what is the thing that your character fears the most? What is the thing they hate the most? What is the thing they love the most? Really, what is the thing that really ticks them off? You know, you have to have their feelings, the things that they, they view, you know, what, what's their greatest flaw? What's their greatest strength? All of these things are, are part of your character, a big part of helping make them relatable. So I know I gave you guys homework in the last video and told you to fill out the world building questionnaire. And I hope that was really helpful. But now what I want you to do is I want you to fill out a character questionnaire. I will post a link down here to a character questionnaire. I want you to do some more homework, okay? I want you to sit there and really try to connect with that feeling that you have, that thing that you're about. And I want you to take those feelings, have thoughts about a character, and then go ahead and answer these questions. Really try to get into your character's head. And we're going to put these things together in a way. We're gonna sew them together. Don't worry, I'm not giving you homework for no reason. It's going to come to a head. But what I wanna do for now is I want you this week to get the world building questionnaire filled out, get the character questionnaire filled out, and start really wrapping your head around the thing that is driving you to write whatever the, this story is. Now, after you get all this done, what I'd like to do for next time, I'm gonna hold off on filming another one because I want to wait and post these and really get your views and your questions and things so that when you have questions about like sewing it together and stuff like that, whatever your questions are, I want you to put them down in the comments so that I can answer all of your questions when it comes to writing and world building and character development after you have all this homework done because it will open up a lot in your brain and you know, you want things open in your brain, except knives, you don't want a knife in your brain. What was I talking about? Oh, character development. So I've given you homework today. I gave you homework the other day and I hope you do your homework and we can come together and talk more about writing and I will be posting more videos. Look forward to that. I will be adding more contests and stuff like that and really, really cool news is coming your way. And very, very, very soon, I'm going to get to discuss my fall 2020 book. I can't wait. So I'm really super, super excited. I have seen the cover for months now. I know what the cover is. It's gorgeous. I can't believe it. It's nothing like any of my other covers. I'm super excited. Well, the book is nothing like any of my other books, so that's fitting. But I'm super, super excited. I hope you're excited too. The moment I have a pre-order link, I'll let you guys know. I also have something really cool in development. It's a, it's a contest, but... I can't tell you anything about it. So aren't you glad that I mentioned that? <laughs> no, it's really great. Um, but I will have more stuff coming here. Please do your homework. Ask me some questions. Subscribe, like, ring that bell, and keep coming back. And grab your friends that want to talk about writing. They want to talk about whatever. And if you want to talk about baby goats, we can talk about baby goats. We can talk about baby goats. Always. <coughs> because baby goats. But that's about it for me today, minions. I will talk to you next time. Till then, be safe. Remember, Pimlin Z loves you.